you don't know about Redwood Empire, you're missing out. Big facts. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are reviewing, man, and I, I'll be honest with you, I've been really excited about this review because of our love for Redwood Empire. Yep. So Redwood Empire, cast strength of all of their releases. Yeah. So pretty much, you know, you've been around us for a decent amount of time. You all know that we're pretty big fans of Redwood Empire. We are. And for what, and, and, you know, as blessed as what we are when it comes to whiskey and bourbon. It's one of them that, I don't want to say it's hard to find, like the basic stuff isn't. But the special releases are not as quite easy hmm. to find. So we were really, really fortunate. We reached out to Redwood Empire and they sent us some samples, uh, which is super generous of them. Yeah, for uh, sure. They didn't have to do that. Uh, they And they sent them to us. It was super cool. We appreciate it so much. And then, so I get these in the mail and then we have a friend out in California who reached out to me and was like, hey, do you all need these bottles? And I was like, oh, funny story. Yes, I do. Yes. Actually, uh, yes. Yes, we do. Because I still have not seen these bottles in our area. I've not seen them. As a time of recording. So I've only seen, again, and these are, they're becoming re more regular, but just the regular releases, like their lower tier releases mm -hmm. of these Um are starting to come around, but they're still not like everywhere. Nope. And nope, not at all. Um, when I can find them, I, I love to get them. So, we'll so go. we're reviewing these today, and really excited to review these cast strengths. And uh, we're just gonna we're gonna go from uh, we're gonna try to make it somewhat easier on our palates. Yeah. We'll go bourbon, uh, and then we'll go the burr rye, and then we'll go rye. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, so first up on our list is the uh, Pipe Dream cast strength coming in at a cool 116.8. And if you know us, you know that we love perfect. we love that 115 to 120 proof. I just think it's perfect. perfect. So, yeah. uh, and that is this, our, your right, our left. Oh, yeah. So oh. I guess it would help if I'd actually grab the blend. <laughs> it's a four to 12 year blend of uh, bourbon. I, I have no clue where it's sourced from. Um, I was actually thinking about that. Um, I know they make some of it down there at Barstown, but I don't know where they're, they're sourcing it from. I think it's a combination of Kentucky, Indiana, and, and uh, California, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Found out some interesting facts. Pipe Dream. It's named after the 14th tallest tree in the world. Oh, really? Yeah. So all these bottles are named after trees. That's why they all have very unique names with with the most gorgeous bottle yeah. art it's that you'll best. find yeah. anywhere in any bourbon whatsoever. Yeah. It's the best bottle art there is. The age of the tree, though, is what's astounding. It's 1,340-something years old. It's a whole tree. 360 here's what feet I, Here's tall. what I also love about uh, Redwood Empire. Uh, in a world where you can charge an arm and a leg for bourbon. Yeah. And uh, for your craft whiskey. bourbon too. Yeah, for craft bourbon, you can charge on. Their normal line is somewhere between 28 and $34. Their cast drink maybe line 40. is maybe 40 just yeah. depends. I mean, I'm yeah. just saying give or cheap. take. Cheap. Yeah, get cheap. Give or take. Uh, their cast drink line is 65 bucks. Cross the board. Cross the board. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Like, yeah. I love that. Yeah, no, it's it's fantastic. All right. Mm. Cherry bubblegum. Oh, yeah, there's a cherry bubblegum. There is a cherry bubblegum. I do agree with that. It's uh, a little bit leathery uh, um, and, and all that stuff. Like it, I think on the palate, there's, it almost tastes like a cola of sorts. Um, <clears throat> And there's like some really nice rich honey, some butter, like a butterscotch candy, like a hard butterscotch. And I'll be honest with you, I think candy. it drinks a lot like just Pipe Dream as as a whole. Well, it should. I think, <laughs> but in a, this is going to sound weird, in a lot of ways I feel like this is a little bit smoother and a little bit sweeter than Pipe Dream I is. do, so I do agree. I think it's sweeter. Um, I was actually going to say on the finish, there's actually some nice like oak spice on the back of that, which yeah. I really like. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that's from the 12 year of that. Um, 
I will say whenever I went into it knowing that there's four to 12 year blend in this, assuming I don't know, I don't know the blends <clears throat> exactly on the percentages. Yeah. This, assuming there's a lot of four year in that compared to 12, they did an excellent job with this blend. I, I like that a lot. Cause there's no sharp edges to it. It's mm. very well rounded. It really is. It's put together. It's I nice. like, I like that a lot. Yeah. All right. All right, Pull out do... bottle number two. Let's take it. All right, now I think this is maybe our favorite out of the basic line with the old Lost Monarch. Yeah, I would say if I it, had... I think it's became our favorite. My liquor barn cannot get this in for whatever reason. I don't know why. He can get Pipe Dream in, and so I've been drinking a lot of Pipe Dream. It's my, it's my starter bourbon. Uh, yeah. As I'm sitting there drinking, I'm like, just give me my usual... I think originally I either liked the rye or the bourbon more, and then the more I was drinking on the Lost Monarch. I don't know if it opened up more or just yeah. changed. My palate changed or evolved or whatever. Oh, but man, it's man, just, that it's gotten so good. so good. It's really, to me, like there's an earthiness to this that I really, really dig. It's like sweet chocolate. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 can, I can get on board with that for sure. There mm. is like a... There's like a, I, I get the earthy note to that, but it's not like just like earthy. It's, it's something earthy, but it's not, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> it's earthy, it's earthy, but I think there's a lot to that. Like there's a chocolate smell in there. There is, there's actually, mm. here's what's crazy. And I got this last time I tried it. There's like a white grape wine note to this. I don't drink enough wine to... I don't either. But, like, it just... It comes to my mind, like... Yeah. Like that. Mm, all right. There's some nice spice with that. And there's a smidge of raspberry. Now, here's what's interesting to, to this, to me. Um, now, I feel like the rye kind of stands out in this. Yep. I agree. More so than it normally does in the... I also agree. In in the regular. Is it... No, I think it's because that spice that's on there. Because mm -hmm. there is some spice on here. Yeah. It's not on the first sip, but kind of like the more you sip on it, I feel like that spice stands out yeah. a lot more. Now, I like that, mm -hmm. but I don't love it. Yeah, so it's... So I agree. I don't. I think I like the, the basic version more. Yes. Yeah. yeah. On a random note... The Lost Monarch is named after the after the largest coastal redwood. Uh, yeah, redwood. Yeah, they don't know the age, but like it's like three hundred twenty-one foot tall. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I like that. I'm not saying that I don't like it, but I I think if I put this beside Lost Monarch, I think I actually yeah I agree with you on that because I, I still think it's good. I feel like uh, yeah yeah. I, I feel like it's battling between the bur the bourbon and the rye in that and the rye just won out. Uh, by the way, that was 117 proof. That's yeah. actually the highest proof yeah. of the group. So this is the Emerald Giant. This is 116 proof. Uh, this is a blend of four to twelve year rye. Uh, which by the way, we forgot to say with the Lost Monarch, that's between three and twelve years old. Yeah. So somehow there's younger age stuff in that blend than the four to 12 year in both the bourbon and the rye, which Ooh, is interesting to me. Now see this, the nose on this is so like, again, I'd say soft, but there's probably a better word for that. Uh, I think soft's pretty good, pretty good term. Did I say this was 116.4 proof? Yeah, you, you said it was less than the other one. You didn't yeah. say what it was. Um, yeah, that's just a, uh, it's citrusy in a way. There's a good little tea note there. Yeah. Like an herbal tea. But it's just like, it's like gently laying your head on a pillow at night. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's soft. like, it's just soft. soft it's just like. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like, take like a cocktail of some sort and you have fruit on there. Yeah. In like you know it's a rye, like a rye cocktail. Like there's rye yeah, in there. Yeah. There's a little bit of that in there. Man, that's that's interesting. 
All right, let's down the hatchet. Now see, I think that's really good. That is so just smooth. The spice, the spice mm -hmm. is perfect on it. Yeah. It, um, I, I do agree with you. Now that like tasting it, there is a tea, like there's like a tea yeah. note in that. And I'm normally not a big like herbal tea guy. Had a bad experience, <laughs> uh, but this this is really great, and is as as rye forward as this was, maybe because I was expecting it to be blended better, this is off the charts. This is really good. I, I agree. Yeah. Like I like I think the <clears throat> here's what's crazy to me. I went into this thinking like the Lost Monarch was gonna crush everything, and I thought it was like gonna be like far and away. So in the rye is what blew me away with how good it is. Because, so what would you, where would you, like, what would you, it's, I know we're not battling these. Yeah. But. Oh, if I had it, to pick, it would be rye than the bourbon. Uh, like, the bourbon's actually a lot closer than what I remember. Yeah. And then the Lost Monarch. But I think they're all good. Yeah. Like, I think they're all good and they're all worth buying. I just think the, the, the balance isn't here in the Lost Monarch that there is in the regular Lost Monarch. Well, I think the regular Lost Monarch, there's a balance in that burr, in the burr rye that that just is off the charts. Honestly, it's I, so good. I don't know. I maybe I, I I just think it's really good. I just think like honestly looking at it, like the profile of the rye to me. You I, know, hate, to, there's I such, hate to say this because I, I try to down rye as much as I possibly can. I but this rye is on another level. Welcome to the dark side of the yeah. forest. This um, rye, the rye is on a different level. It's just like this rye. And I don't know. I, I don't know any of the blends. I don't know the sourcing. I don't know anything. But I just always assume. There's a tobacco on this I just on this assume rye. MGP. And that doesn't come off as MGP. <clears throat> no. At all. Like I, I don't get no. any of those kind of notes whatsoever. So maybe it's not. I don't. I don't know. But the 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 blending of this in the bourbon, I think, are they excellent? Yes. Like it I is would agree it, with that. that kind of stuff is an art, and I think both these are done yeah. extremely well. Yeah, yeah. I think Lost Monarch is so good. I just think those two are exceptionally done. Yeah, I don't want to say that this is bad. It's just different than what I, because I know what Lost Monarch is. Yeah. Like I was expecting to have a similarity to I it. I agree. Because I think these have been similar, yeah, but stepped up a notch. Yeah, this one just was not as similar to Lost Monarch as yeah as, I, as I would agree. Is. So I think that's that's why I would say. Fun fact though about the Emerald Giant, named after the world's fastest growing red or redwood. Oh, I didn't know there. I didn't know they would grow different. I don't know anything about trees, but aged. 1,180 years. Listen, if you want to know. 59 foot if tall you as know, of whenever I looked it up. If you want to know anything about trees, just message us. We know everything about trees. All right. Well, let us know in the comments below. Give us that like, that notification. Let us know if you've tried this stuff. Because, yeah. like, it's not. A, for us, it's hard to find. It's hard to find. I mean, it's right not even here. here. So, we are, so we're excited to have them in our possession. So, all right. Well, till the next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.